Well, I'll show you. I got a problem with my oxygen regulator. Uh, I just want to show you what it's doing. Um, this is a old regulator set I got back. Uh, it's over 20 years old, I think. But whenever I set my or turn my oxygen on, sometimes it's it's holding fine, but it's been creeping up on the on this side here right now it seems to be working fine um, earlier this week it uh, actually it uh, it actually popped the relief valve on here um, whatever if this ever gets too much pressure on if there's a relief valve here uh, and so it was actually popping the relief valve so I'm gonna pull it off here, take it apart. I got a kit for it, and I want to show you a little bit about uh, how these how these work and how to put a new kit in it. Okay, I've got it set up here in a vise. Uh, I clamped on the back side there. The manual says when you pull it apart, you're actually supposed to pull this out first. Um, this is your adjuster. And I want to warn you about oxygen. Um, not a lot of people know this, but if you actually contaminate the inside of this regulator with oil, and I, I'm wearing gloves because it's pretty sensitive to, oxygen's very, high pressure oxygen is very sensitive to uh, oil. So what we've got here, we've got a, I'll lay it out in the order it goes here. You got the, T-handle adjuster, you got the cover, um, this spring actually, that part right there, uh, when you tighten this end to adjust your pressure up, it actually pushes against this spring. Uh, you've got a washer, goes around the diaphragm, and you, these are usually stuck in pretty tight. I've actually already assembled, or disassembled this one to see what was going on with it. Um, this is the new, this is the old diaphragm. I've got a new kit um, that has those parts in it. But uh, this side here is actually the low pressure side of the regulator. Um, the high pressure tube comes in this side and it's connected on this side of the gauge. And this is the valve seat and I'll pull that apart here and we'll take a look. It's a good idea to clean your wrench out good before you actually use this. Um, to, like I say, anything inside this regulator you should keep grease free. I wouldn't even recommend using a flammable cleaner. Um, I think if you need to wash it out I'd probably use soap and water if it were me. Um, this one's fairly clean, but if, if you actually spray, say, a, a flammable carburetor cleaner or something like that in here, um, and there's a residual, if, if there's any residual fuel inside of here, when you turn that bottle on, it will, it will cause a fire inside this regulator or it could explode. Um, I never have witnessed that happening. I don't hope, I hope I never do. Um, but anyway, like I say, if you're gonna do this, um, a new regulator is probably a hundred bucks for a good one. Uh, this kit's 20. And Victor's, you know, they were built to last, uh, especially the older stuff and it's a shame, to me, it's a shame to throw this stuff away when you can rebuild it, get some more life out of it. So <clears throat> that's one reason that I am uh, rebuilding this one. I don't want to throw it away. I don't want to go buy a new one. I don't really need to. Okay, there's a little nylon um, washer. I'm going to show you what comes in a new kit that I bought here. This might not be the best um, 
description here, but okay, this is the repair kit I got online. Um, and what we've got is a new, this is a new seat. And you can actually take this apart. It, it unthreads off of the top here, but you don't need to un, you, you don't want to take that apart. Um, if, if your old one, or if yours looks like this, where it's all frazzled and that's a pretty good in, indication it blew it, it, you know, there's too much pressure blew it out. So the new kit comes with this part. Uh, this is what it should look like when it's new. It looks really shiny and tough. You got to remember an oxygen bottle has 2,000 PSI on it, or sometimes more than that when the, uh, some of the bottles are filled. And um, so that little seat right there has to handle the, all that pressure. And uh, this spring here has a, a little nylon slide. And this is, this is just kind of like a, a guide for that little rod so it can move back and forth without binding up. The kit comes with a new one. That's that part right there. Um, but really the only kit, the only parts the kit comes with is the, the new, uh, what do they, what do they call, I can get the technical term here for that. This is called the seat assembly, actually. Um, and this is called the nozzle. So we got a seat assembly, we got a nozzle. And like I say, I need to, <clears throat> I need to clean that, be sure there's no uh, bumps or corrosion in there. And I'm just gonna use soap and water to clean it up. And then I will put it all back together here in a minute. Okay, so the, I downloaded a uh, file on rebuilding these regulators. Um, and I'll try to put a link to it. This is for the Victor. Um, but what we got to do is assemble the... Uh, we're going to assemble the... This is our new part we got with the kit. We're going to put a spring on here. Um... This little spring retainer has a groove in it that fits inside the spring. And then there's a little bearing type deal here. And what this does, this, this rides in the bottom of the regulator. And it just, it just wants to, it, it keeps everything in line so that when this opens and closes it, it's always straight. So we wanna put that together. Like I say, be sure there's no oil on your fingers. Um, I cleaned this out, soap and water, and you know we're we should be should be as clean as we can get it. Um, clean it with soap and water, blew it out with a little bit of air. You want to be sure there's not oil, you know, oily air. You want it to go through a filter regulator. Um, So have this washer. It's called the nozzle washer, and I'm actually going to put that in there upside down. The torque on this is 16 to 20 foot pounds. Actually, I'm going to have to put the nylon washer in there first, and then. Uh, be able to put that in. Sixteen to twenty inch uh, foot pounds is what that says to tighten that to. Let me grab a torque wrench. Said 16 to 20 uh, foot pounds on that. Um, so that's torqued. 
I've got uh, hopefully clean hands here. Everything should be clean. But now we're ready to put in the uh, diaphragm. This is the new one that came with the kit. And we've got a washer that goes on top of there. Um, the next thing we've got is our spring and our plate that rides against our uh, adjuster. And this will be centered up by this cap. Uh, whenever we put it down on there, it should center everything up. And then, uh, unless I'm forgetting a part here, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not a lot of complication to these, these old Victor regulators. They're pretty simple. Like I say, don't use any oil. Uh, if you, if you use, if you, if you ever take your gauges out and put anything on them, just use a Teflon tape. Don't, e don't even use a, you know, don't use anything that's oily, like an oily pipe dope or anything like that. Um, you just don't want the, you don't want to add any fuel in here with this oxygen when it comes in under pressure. So, now of course the oxygen, or the acetylene regulator would be a little different deal. Um, wouldn't be quite so sensitive. But, with that being said, I would probably still use the same precautions, just, you know, um, it's not that big a deal to keep everything clean. But, I'm going to torque this down. I believe this says... 40 to 50 feet, uh, 40 to 50 foot pounds on the cap here. And I'll put the adjuster back in. We'll put it back on the bottle and, and test it. The, the actual book says to test these um, with a nitrogen bottle. And I don't have a nitrogen bottle. I don't want to get one just to do this test. But I do have a, a full oxygen bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and um do this test on uh on the bottle out here the oxygen bottle now if i do it everything right it shouldn't have there shouldn't be a problem putting it back together it should work but we'll go through the test once we get it on there okay i got the gate i got the valve open we got 2000 psi on our main pressure and our our first test is going to be the creep test. You're going to slowly open the test valve with the test gun closed. Adjust the regulator to deliver the appropriate pressure listed below. So we're going to set this to 5. Range 1 is 5 psi. And that would be like our first mark on, that's like 5 PSI there. Now we're going to open the test gun, stabilize it, our, our test gun is going to be our torch. Seems to be working. And we're going to says to observe the gauges for five minutes. During the first minute, slow shut off delivery rise to the seat not closing quickly enough, should not exceed one PSI. Uh, during the next four minutes, no creep is allowed. So this, if I test this for a minute at five PSI, it should not go up. Uh, it may go up one pound, but no, but no, no more after that. Um, for the next four minutes and then our next of course our next test pressure is 10 pounds same thing um, blow a little oxygen through the hose here and uh, we'll watch the gauge see if it creeps I think I did get a slight increase there Uh, 
looks like it's holding pretty good. We'll go ahead and crank it up to 20 here. And there's a leak test. Okay, the leak test is you're supposed to crank this up to the maximum pressure. I don't know that I've ever done that on an oxygen regulator. But that's about 120 pounds. Now I'm supposed to close this valve. Well, we got a we got a release valve blowing off. Okay, let's set it to a hundred there. Actually, <laughs> I may need a new relief valve. Yeah, we're leaking out the relief valve right now. I may need to take it apart and clean it. Okay, if I set it to 80 pounds. And now I close this off. We shouldn't have any leakage through this gauge here. Looks like it's holding pretty good. Okay, and when these regulators are working right, uh, you should set it, you should be able to, it's, it's called a drop test. Um, if I set my regulator to say 10 pounds, I'll drop it back down here to 10 PSI, which is, okay, if, if we set this at 10 PSI and we open our airflow, we should not drop more than 3 PSI here. So I'm going to open my oxygen wide open. So I basically didn't lose any PSIs there. Um, Seems to be working good. And our next test is up to 20 PSI. And it shouldn't lose more than 4 PSI whenever we open everything up there. So. It dropped just a little bit. But not much. That regulator's working pretty darn good, I think. <laughs> 